Okay, well, I've been messing around with Nikki a little bit today. Uh, kind of just messing with stuff. No real hardcore. I polished right here. And I took off some parts and messed with some pieces and uh, preparing to flush the frame. But first I got to clean the outside of the frame. got a lot of rubbing to do to polish up the nickel on this thing but that was a quick job with some semi quick camera hound that was a quick job with some semi chrome and you can see it polishes up nicely half pitch semi chrome polish it's a skin and eye irritant great Made in Germany, product number 3950. Doled out areas such as right here and turns them like that. But it also leaves them feeling like they have a protective coating. Okay, so we've got Nikki here. Nikki because it's a nickel plated frame, XR600R. But on this one, I had to pound it out. I could not get it out by hand and it fits in only so far from either side and then it stops there's some interference down in the center of the cylinder so what i'm thinking it is is a high spot right there because it fits up to that point That's a little better, but still a problem. So let's clean that up a little. Let's see. Still doesn't want to fit in. It just does not want to go in. In the end, I think it was the plating on this that had gotten screwed up and was causing interference. And I'll grease this up real good. Okay, that's good. Another problem I found on another XR is this cross brace at the subframe begins to crack. Hear that? You might have a problem seeing it. Right here. It's cracked straight up through, but not all the way across. And I certainly don't want it to go all the way across. So I'm gonna make a cross brace and it'll bolt on on the underside 
fit right up inside of here. I gotta grind off a whole side here. All the way down the length of it. Gotta take off that much. So there's probably some other better way to do this, but uh, I don't necessarily even uh, have uh, full array of tools at my disposal. Got a ways to go. I'll catch you in a minute. Okay, the, uh, the brace I'm making is really close now. Uh, just about fits in there nicely. Like to clean it up a little bit. Okay, let's see how it fits. More like if it fits. Well, I cleaned it up for nothing. It still doesn't fit. I have to grind it some more. All right, so now that we've got it where it can fit in there okay, I'm gonna mark it for drill holes. Clean up those holes a little bit. Get all the burrs off. Okay, so Here's your finished piece. Except for I have to paint it. Being that it's raw steel, can't leave it on there like that. So I've got some Rust-Oleum and this just happens to be crystal clear. Here's the hardware that I decided to use. I've got stainless steel parts here. These are not. Next problem we have to tackle is uh, hydraulic brake switch. Previous owner had a mechanical brake switch which I think is healthy. You have to have a spring going to your brake pedal and it's out here in the way of your boot and stuff a little bit. This is a much cleaner setup. However, this is not going to fit. I mean, it almost makes it, but I'm gonna have to take a little bit of this bracket off. This is a bracket that somebody welded on before they had it nickel plated so that they could put on X are 650L foot pegs. This needs to be cleared away 
Like so. Removing all this. There's places where the nickel plating has been compromised. I'm going to go ahead and get some model airplane paint. I've got some silver. And I'm just going to touch up anywhere where it's been nicked so that I uh, can stop that from rusting. I got, I got quite a few little teeny little plating issues. In general, the plating's in great shape. The guy went as far as to plate the kickstand, shifter, and brake pedal, but he didn't plate that right side foot peg. And that would be the last thing. I mean, should have painted the plated that. Trying to put it on thick. Because I don't plan on coming back for a second coat. Well, I think that's about it for today. In uh, coming over to look at the frame, I realized that somebody busted off the kickstand tab. And it welded up real nice. It didn't even really show. But they didn't paint it or anything. The silver actually looks worse than the weld, but at least it's not gonna rust. I think it was done recently because it had no signs of rust on it. Okay, Nikki, you can stand up now. <laughs>